How do we study a volcano whose eruption people have never recorded? My name's Jeff, I'm a PhD student at the University of Auckland, I'm originally from the United States. I'm studying volcanic hazards at Mount Taranaki, which is a, an active stratovolcano in the North Island of New Zealand. The stratovolcanoes grow in cycles, so a volcano like Taranaki erupts for a while and then it stops and then it erupts again and, and during those periods it's erupting sometimes uh, very loudly, very violently and sometimes very quietly. Uh, so that's how a volcano erupts in time, but a volcano also erupts differently in space. So the volcano doesn't grow evenly on all sides. It erupts in one direction for some time and then in another direction and then maybe returns to that first sector that it was erupting in for a new eruptive cycle. So we're using a bunch of different methods to look at the ages and the emplacement temperatures and the conditions at which the deposits from the volcano were deposited. Uh, so some of those methods are paleomagnetism, geochemistry, sedimentology, uh, field geology. We sample in a bunch of different locations. So sometimes we sample at the summit of the volcano and to do that we have to go to the top of the volcano with uh, a whole load of equipment. So we have uh, a chainsaw converted into a paleomagnetic drill and we carry that along with a whole bunch of water to, to use uh, in the drilling process and a whole bunch of uh, sampling gear to the top that we use and we drill holes and we take uh, little core samples that we can take back to the lab and study. So for the samples I take them to the different labs that I work in, so the paleomagnetic lab in Wellington and the geochemistry lab in Auckland and I put them through uh, magnetometers and x-ray fluorescence detectors to look at the magnetic uh, material that's inside the rock and to look at the, the chemical composition of the rock. And this can tell me about the conditions under which the rock was emplaced and it can tell me about how old the, the deposits are. There's no human historical record of eruptions at Mount Taranaki, and, and that poses some difficulty. And what that means is that the deposits we study and the lava flows we sample are our only means of recreating the record of eruptions at this volcano. The reason we care about where a volcano is erupting is because it lets us prepare better for a volcanic hazard. So right now, when we look at the hazard map of Taranaki, we, we prepare equally in every single direction at a certain distance. But if we had a better idea of where a hazard is directed at a given time, we could devote our resources much more effectively to preparing for the hazard in the most affected areas.